is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other. Hey everybody, Wade McNutt here, pianomeditation.com. Piano meditation worship tutorials and uh, welcome to the lesson today. God, we just call you into this lesson. We thank you for your love. Thank you for the assurance that we have. What it means that when you're with us. We pray for the student wherever they are in the world. In your name, amen. All right, I've done uh, this lesson in the past, but this is kind of an updated version and a different key. Original key that the song is in. Sky high, Chris Tomlin key. Really up there. So if you don't have any cheat sheets, go ahead and grab those. Look in the uh, description below. Uh, it says email list, and I'll send some cheat sheets over. Look on the key of B, and we'll be working through some of those chords. And if you want the chords and lyrics, you can copy and paste those from below the video to a Word document. Sweet. So uh, let's work through a few of these chords, and then we'll be jamming through the song. In the intro, we have a G sharp minor. And a typical G sharp is this right here. But I'm just going to put the G sharp on top. Boop. That's called an inversion. This is going to help us keep all of our chords together. And you'll see those in the cheat sheets. We have a couple bass notes here. G sharp. Our next chord is E. Same thing with E. E's in the middle there, but we Put them in a different order, did a little inversion of the chord. E's in the bass. Then we have a D, uh, excuse me, B chord. B as in baseball. And then our F sharp. Major chord F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Don't be afraid of the key of B, all right? It's really not that hard. You're just learning different combinations like you are with the key of C. So those are our four main chords. Get those down. Get to where you can move in between them. All right. If you can't just move in between them like that, probably need to pause the video, work them out, or you're going to be saying, wait, you're going too fast. Well, work out the chords, man. All right. So if we're going to jam this, let's go into a rocking motion. So it's the top two notes down to the thumb. We'll hold out the bass, so you go one, two, three, four, then an E chord, then a B chord, and you may have to just pause, or F sharp here, you may have to pause and just work out that motion, that's okay, that's called learning, right? All right. So you want to be able to do that through the intro, and then we'll do that same kind of motion, that rocking motion here in the verse, so it'll go like this, two, ready, and Water, you turn. Oh, I'm not gonna sing that high. More <laughs> to squeak. Um, I'll go lower. Water, you turn into wine. So each one of these movements, the first two get two beats, and then it's four beats on this on the B chord. Open the eyes of the blind to there's no one. All right. Now we do have a new chord here. Like you. To our C sharp minor, C sharp, E, and G sharp. C sharp's in the bass. No one like you. None like you. Four, one, two. And I'll play and sing through this whole thing at the end with you so you can get the flow of it. We're just working through the song here. Verse two. And also, don't play like this. Open your hands nice curve like this. This is what, what it should look like. I'm just doing this so you can see a little better. Verse two, two, ready, and into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. None like you. Chorus two, ready. Our God is greater. E, our God is stronger. B, God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God. 
And you can do the instrumental. It's just those four chords. So that's kind of how we're flowing through this thing. Uh, so if you if you got those movements down, you should be getting to the point where you can do that. Now, singing and playing might be a little tough, so uh, take it slow. Take it line by line. Get to where you can do both of those if you're new to uh, singing and playing. And after a while, it just becomes natural. Bridge, two, ready, and. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then we could stand. Okay, so in this, maybe you want to give it a little more, uh, a little more oomph, you know, a little more power. And a lot of this depends on if you're just playing the keyboard by yourself, or you're playing with the band, you know, it's tough to give a lot of strength with just playing piano, but let's move the left hand down an octave. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop? So if you kind of pump, pump, pump. how that feels and so then also when you get to the end of the chorus it kind of it has that real cool band thing where it goes rest two three and four and five and rest two three and four and five i was counting that all wrong but don't worry just you know what i'm doing so if you're just piano you may not want to do that okay because it, it may just sound really weird so you might just want to uh, get to the end of the chorus and go then what could stand against? Oh, what could stand against? You know, you may want to just kind of keep playing through it because those stops, you know, just may not sound right. So use your discretion on uh, uh, on that. There is a little part. So on the first, then what could stand against? Then what could stand against? goes to this uh, B slash D sharp stand again all right so it's just a B here but the slash means the bass player is going to play your left hand it's going to play a D sharp all right so don't let that throw you off what could stand against cool all right uh, beautiful Cool. So, uh, cool little thing. Going pro. If you're looking on the cheat sheets, uh, again, you can get those. Look in the description. It says email list, and I'll shoot those over to you. Um, if you're on the list, I'll send you all kinds of other cool stuff of, about learning the piano. Um, but in the going pro, there's something called a pentatonic scale. It has five notes that are real magical. Uh, it's just one thing of many that you can do whenever playing the piano, but. Sometimes you need to fill up space, like for example, water you turned into wine. And that, that cool little thing. So all I'm doing is using these notes of the pentatonic scale. I kind of use two shapes. I call this shape one, where B is on your thumb, or shape two, where B is on your pinky. So I kind of move in between those, do some movements like this. So I'm not going to go real in depth to it, but I just want to show you that's part of the, the cheat sheets. It sh shows you what that pentatonic scale is and uh, start to use those two uh, shapes in between stuff when people aren't singing or there's not a guitar thing going on and it'll help fill up some space. Cool. If that's too much for you, don't do it right now. I just want to, you know, giving out some free stuff. I want you to know it. Oh, cool. And uh, before we pray and sing through this thing, uh, also, I just, hey, I released like a full band album. How cool is that? I spent way too much money on it, <laughs> uh, but it was fun writing and then just getting to glorify God through the whole thing. And uh, so it's called Fall Into Your Love, Wave McNutt. You can find that on all the online stuff, find it on Spotify and whatnot. Uh, so give it a listen if you have a chance and pray with me and, and shoot some feedback. I'll be teaching some lessons from some of the songs on it. I would love to hear from you. All right, so let's pray through this thing. One, two, three, four. Unlike
you hope you learned some stuff in this lesson today if you're new just keep on working on it work that out get muscle memory uh you can do this you can do this if you put enough time your hands are going to learn that's the way god made it wade mcnutt piano meditation.com check out the new album fall into your love by wade mcnutt and join the email list i would love to be in contact with you and and uh teach you new stuff on the piano we'll talk to y'all later <gasps> bye-bye